meeting. Democrats tell Rahm Emanuel to stop with the deadlines. And there is word now that a dozen Democrats are ready to roadblock health care. We've got a brand new hour for you on a busy, busy morning of America's Newsroom. Hey, everybody, I'm Martha McCallum. And I'm Bill Hammer. It says, like we say this all the time, that health care is coming. Well, this is an incredible tape that we've been playing for you this morning. A driver's terror was caught on tape. The 911 call released from the Toyota Prius driver who was pleading for help with 911 to stop his speeding car. James Sykes telling the dispatcher that he could not stop that car no matter how he tried. Uh, and a California Highway Patrol officer was able to track down Sykes with the help of this 911 operator and guide him to safety with a loudspeaker. Listen to this part. In this is trying to give him any piece of advice that will stop that car. Uh, and that is the second incident involving a Toyota Prius uh, this week, which was, you know, somewhat unaffected by all of this until now. Now, a driver in New York says that her car accelerated on its own right out of her driveway and slammed into a stone wall. Fortunately, she was not seriously hurt. These incidents are only adding, of course, to Toyota's troubles in the wake of these massive safety recalls. Joining us now from Capitol Hill is a long 50% increase in sales. And, and March already. The first two weeks of March. You know, that's, part, that's partly the American spirit, right? It's right. like, ah, I can get a good deal on it. It's going to be get fine. Great deals. No, this is getting true. in this that's car right. again. Uh, the coroner's office there saying that actor Corey Haim is dead at the age of 38. Former Democratic Congressman Eric Massa blasted everybody from the White House to his own party members. And then came the interview with our own Glenn Beck. See for yourself. I, I don't know what to say about what, that. What an I, I hour mean, of TV it, that was. It, oh, my right? gosh. What an hour of TV it was. Uh, let's bring in Maria Cardona. She is the former his life to save his family. Wait till you hear this 911 call uh, that will send chills down your spine. All right, have you heard about this? Chief Justice Roberts hitting back at President Obama. He says he is troubled by the way the president called out the Supreme Court at January's State of the Union address. Well, we heard this. The government's no-fly list nearly doubled in size, the number of people who are not supposed to get on airplanes since the failed Christmas Day bombing of a passenger jet. Now, these... All right, let's go to that shot that comes to us from WSVN in Pompano Beach, Florida, where there is a rescue attempt. Attention, you're likely to hear this quote. Uh, coming up on Fox News Channel this afternoon. Uh, Dick Durbin, Senator Dick Durbin, just... But another House Democrat says that the pro-life members should basically back off. Strong voice on this issue. So, Your Excellency, we thank you for being with us today. Uh, Martha, what you were talking... Story of the day, in my opinion, and it is coming up, so stay right here. Police say that a young boy, six years old, may have saved his family's life with a 911 call that pleaded with dispatchers just moments before gunmen broke down the door. Well, today, Los Angeles police are calling a seven-year-old California boy a hero. After gunmen broke into his home, he locked himself and his little sister in a bathroom and made this call. That and bring soldiers, too. Uh, and as the boy was on with the dispatchers, the gunman broke down the bathroom door where they were, and that is when he told them that he had called 911, and they took off. Wow. And the family is now fine. And he's okay, uh, no too, huh? What, what was going on. Yeah. Man, oh, man. Uh, quick shot before we go. Uh, they've brought in another ladder down there in Pompano Beach, Florida. Yes, they bridge back down, but uh, let's just say the morning commute will be tough. Yeah, it's a nice <laughs> day, though.